was born in Brezhice, grew up in Sevnica. It's a really small city, not much else to say. Wait, let me, just give me a second, I'm gonna go check up here. If you can see the, the pool or not. School was just a time waster for me. It was just something I had to do. I wanted to play video games instead. My goal is to become the best player in the world. I'm Team Nemesis Liposhek and I'm the new mid laner for Fnatic. Oh my god, I'm gonna play against Caps right now. They're gonna finish the game, I'm gonna play against Caps. It's gonna happen! <laughs> I discovered League of Legends back in 2010 via a browser game named Shavian. <laughs> we played it together with my brother and some guy recommended this. I don't know, it, the game just looked fun and cool, so I played it more. Galio is really broken. Holy moly. Uh, I'm Guy and I'm Nemesis of the brother. Back in the day we only had one computer so we usually just swapped. So he played one game, I played one game, and then when someone played, the other one was just watching and teaching him. So it was really fast improvement. Mm. My father probably learned from me at the start because uh, since season one, I've always been pretty high elo and he was like uh, low elo, but like after some time he cut off. Um, even when my brother was silver, I thought his mechanics were pretty good for a silver player and uh, on certain champions he was like way better than his ranking would indicate. It was about only good that. 100 to 0. <laughs> only good that into footage, he just 100 to 0 that Akali, like. So I went to around seven Slovenian lands. I am currently the only undefeated Slovenian at lands. So basically, if I was playing with my brother, we won everything. And if I, if I was playing against him, I also won him. We usually lay in bot together. Uh, and I just like told my brother what to do. My brother was a pretty good trash player because uh, he landed like every hook. Uh, and we also cheesed a lot with like Galio, Caitlyn and Perma poke the enemy bot and like took every tower by eight minutes. Uh, we were in teams with like other good players from Slovenia, so we usually just uh, won everything. Like for example, Miki X was our teammate. It felt really good since we were really good friends already there and just playing with someone that you're good friends is just tons of fun. Yeah, I'm looking to forward to winning some games against him. I've decided to become a professional player already in elementary school. I told my some of my classmates, some of my teachers, um, no one believed me. My brother didn't say anything, but he knew that I could become a professional player if I wanted to. At, at one point when we got a new internet and our ping got really better, um, my, my brother like instantly got top 20 and from there like he was much better than most of the players, so it was kind of obvious that he would like easily go pro. When I turned 17, I already wanted to play in LCS, but after realizing that isn't possible because people don't notice me, I just tried to get a team in other national leagues. I didn't think it was anything special when he got picked up by Matt, because not every player in AVP is like super good, and uh, the competition is not like insane, like LCS. And he always thought like he would go LCS within the first year, but he was kind of forced to go to Spain because uh, he needed some um, recognition first. It felt pretty nice, but at the same time, these trophies don't mean much to me since I want to play uh, in a bigger league. He got kind of lucky uh, that Fnatic got a starter spot open, but I, it's good for him that he doesn't start in a bottom tier team and he can develop faster this way. 
When I was announced, it felt pretty good. I finally knew that I was in the big game now. It's a great honor that they chose me as the new mid laner. I think Xpec and Fabulman were pretty good during their times at Fnatic, but I'm mostly indifferent about them because a lot of time has passed since they last played. As for Caps, I thought he was already the best Western mid laner. I think he showed the world a new level of mid lane diversity, and I respect that. Replacing Caps, I don't feel pressured that much because I'm confident in my own play. I think my team members are all great players and I'm looking forward to playing with them.